Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Dr. Coco's Medmonics. Today I'm going to be going over HIV. Um, this one's not as much uh, mnemonic as this is a drawing that I did for HIV because I find HIV to be super annoying to study as far as um, how it goes into your system, how it replicates, and all of the different drugs. Um, I do recommend the sketchies as far as the sketchy farm for the um, different HIV drugs. I think that those are really good. Um, but something I think that it lacks a little bit is really explaining to me how um, HIV replicates. And it, honestly, it's not the job, like it's a farm video. But so I drew it out. Hopefully this helps you guys. Um, so I'm gonna start off with, this is our little HIV right here. Very cute. Um, we have the different uh, reverse transcriptase in there. We have the um, GAG P24, which is like a capsid matrix, um, and then the GP41, which is, um, we'll see later, used for fusion, and the GP120, which is used for attachment. And the first thing that I honestly didn't even know until I got it on a UWorld question, I think, was that HIV... I know it likes to affect T cells, and we know that because um, when you have an HIV patient, you're going to keep looking at their T cell level, right? But it actually affects macrophages first. And I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense, but I just really, I wasn't, wasn't aware that they go and they infect macrophages first. Um, so I drew a little macrophage here for early infection, and this is the CCR5. Um, receptor and macrophages have this CCR5 receptor for early infection and then T cells have both the CCR5 and CXCR4 receptors right here and both of these are for attachment but um, as far as macrophages go we don't have a drug that attacks this and uh, that's really because it's kind of um not super specific for just HIV because macrophages go and they nom nom a lot of stuff. But we do have a drug right here that blocks the CCR5 on the T cell and that's Mavrinoc right there. So, okay, now we figured out early infection is macrophages. Late infection is gonna be T cells. And so we, here we have the CD4 um, receptor for T cells and our little CXCR4 right here. The um, GP120 right there attaches to the CD4 on the T cell. And then he just kind of makes his way in here. He's like, oh, hi, T cell. I'm going to make myself at home. Ha, huh? stupid, whatever. So, what helps them with that is this GP41 helps with fusion and entry. And so, I kind of think of um, when you went off to college like maybe your parents were like in their 40s or something um this is the only number that's like in the 40s and they're helping you get into college right i mean that's really the whole goal of parents anyway is like to help you get into college it seems so there it is gp41 fusion and entry and there is a drug that infects this and it's the infuritide right there effect inhibits the gp41 and so with this drug, it makes it to where they can't fuse to your, your T cells. But say we don't know we have HIV and it comes in and it's like, all right, here's my little home. We're going to do reverse transcriptase because HIV has RNA and we want to make DNA. And I don't know why. Maybe I just really didn't pay attention in high school biology, but I was unaware that the reverse transcriptase happened in the cytoplasm. And so I made sure to draw that out here, the cytoplasm, the nucleus over here. And so I think we all know the reverse transcriptase inhibitors. So we have um, NRTIs and NNRTIs. And the NNRTIs actually work in the cytoplasm um, and they, because they don't need that phosphorylation signal versus NRTIs actually work in the nucleus. Okay, so we did the reverse transcriptase and we integrate into the nucleus. Integrase is inhibited by um, raltanavir. It's an integrase inhibitor. And then I have the uh, NRTIs right here because, you know, we, we think of them as 
reverse transcriptase inhibitors, but if you watch the sketchy, it goes about talking through that they inhibit the three five to five prime phosphodiesterase bonds um, within the uh, nucleus. And this is actually how PrEP works. Um, PrEP is the drug that you take if you um, are wanting to have sex with somebody who is HIV positive. And so if you take uh, PrEP, it's actually an NRTI. And then, all right, so we got in here, we got in the nucleus, we fucked things up, and now we're gonna come out here and we have our little mRNA guy right here, okay? That's from the HIV, so it's replicating and it's making new of itself and it has its little mRNA. And then we have protease, and protease, what it does is it cleaves these mRNA into smaller pieces so that they can get packaged because you can't package this like giant thing. I mean, think about like a really, really, really long pole or something if you like have a really tall box or you can cut the pole into like little tiny fragments and fit it into a smaller box. And so that's what protease does. It cleaves these little guys into smaller pieces so that they can be stored and, you know, make a new little HIV and go and, you know, fuck up another T cell. And one of the drugs that would work right here is a protease inhibitor. And so this is, the, they end in Navir's. Um, I always think of them as the Guinevere's from the sketchy. And that's the process right there that it, it affects in the cytoplasm. And so that was it. This is that whole uh, picture. I think a lot of the problems I have is whether or not we're in the cytoplasm or the nucleus. Um, and the entire process of like, Okay, integrase, well, where are we integrating? We're integrating from cytoplasm to nucleus. Okay, protease, where are we doing this? You know, um, that's where I kind of get confused. And so drawing this entire picture out of HIV and the way it replicates and where the drugs are really helped me. And hopefully it helped you too. And if it did, please like and subscribe to my channel.